Hi guys, in the next video I want to show you how I'm editing raw motion capture data using only Anim Toolbox temp controls. Normally I would use them on a retargeted rig, but I thought using it directly on a raw mockup file would help to show its current capabilities. Temp controls was previously called back to empties and was initially made as a space switching tool until it evolved into some kind of basic modular rigging tool which is used for space and setup switching while animating. First, before applying any temp controls, I block roughly the timing using the retime markers operator. With hotkey M, I'm adding markers, usually on all contact points. In this case, I wanted to do the beginning faster and to hold the part where he raises his legs a bit longer. Now I will use temp controls to build a complete basic biped character. I'm selecting all the bones that will have an IK setup. For each setup I select three bones. I press on temp IK controls. The option keep separate hierarchies turns automatically on. This will check for parental hierarchies between the bones and will assign to each chain a separate IK chain. I also check add pole target and root control. Since no object or bone were used as reference for the root control, then it will be created in the cursor position. All the IK controls are now created on a separate local control rig with the animation baked on it. I can change the size, shape and the colors of the controls. The colors change for all the controls. That's because I need to filter the influence only on selected chains. I'm changing also the shape, size and color of the root. I'm now adding a world space control to use for the torso. I also give it an extra child for extra control. Because it is using a small bone, it is difficult to see the shape, so I'm scaling it and giving it a new color. If I switch temp controls on and off, I can see that the arm is jumping a bit. That is probably because both bones are originally moving on all axes. In this case it wouldn't matter to me, but if I want it to be precise, I can create the IK controls without the pole vector control, and then use the base to control the elbows. Now I create an FK chain for the spine. It will use the selection order to create the hierarchy. The problem now is that the FK chain of the spine and the torso control are not connected with each other. I select any control from the spine FK chain and then the torso as the active chain and then press link temp chains. The spine is now connected to the torso control and the animation is always baked back into the rig. I'm adding world space controls also to the shoulders. I select both shoulders and any control of the spine chain. Link temp chain will parent every selected chain to the chain of the active bone, and in this case to the tip of the active spine chain. Adding another FK chain for the neck and head. The IK chains are already connected to the original armature by default, so we don't have to link them as well. But I will connect the head and neck FK chain to the tip of the spine FK chain. Before changing the setup, I will quickly work on the torso motion. I will turn on Anim Toolbox Editable Motion Path. The control box of the keyframes is big, so I will scale it down from the Motion Path settings. I want to work now on the contact of the spine with the ground. However, it's currently difficult with a standard setup and hierarchy coming from the torso. It would be better for me if the hierarchy would start from the top of the spine. If I turn shadows on, you can see how it floats over the ground. Select any bone from the spine chain and press on clean up. Now I select the spine again, but backwards. I can call temp FK controls either from the panel or from the quick icons menu. Flip temp controls is turned on automatically because it recognizes the selection order. Adding also extra child controls and connecting it to the root control. A new chain is created, and now it is rotating backwards. However, it's not connected to the torso. I select the torso and then the new FK chain as the active chain, and then link temp chains to the tip of the active chain. I select the shoulders, the head, and then the spine as active. 
This time I link to the base of the chain. Now I can control the rig from the top of the spine. Since it's the parent bone, I can work directly on the axis in the graph editor. I delete all the keys on the y-axis and find the contact point. I remove some frames to have a stronger hit. Adding a small bounce after the spine hits the ground. I clean the curve of the actual torso using the rotation from the new main control. I select the child controls of the spine and start to animate them, giving the spine some more swing. I use these controls as a second layer since the main controls have the animation baked on them. The keyframe of the tool uses the order based on the selection order. Using animation layers, I give some more delay and a nicer pose on the legs. And reset the layer values using the reset key layer tool in the beginning and in the end. Sometimes baking or removing a setup can cause gimbal locks. In this case, you can use the discontinuity Euler filter that comes with Blender. I will later also implement an Euler filter into the bake itself. I want to push the character more backwards, to have more impact from the heat. So I use the root control to push him even further. Now the legs are sliding. I could fix it with copy-paste world matrix or with the world matrix slider. But because the contact and weight are on the toes, I will create a new setup for the legs. Quick bake to bake the current animation on the legs and to clean the setup. I create a reversed FK chain from the toe to the feet. Checking use world space control orientation. This time I exclude the root control. Then I do the same for the other side. I select the legs for the IK control, but this time only two bones per chain. The option add an extra IK control bone is turned on automatically. This will add an extra control bone for the IK control, and it will be disconnected from the feet. So I select the IK control and then the feet or toe as an active chain, and I press link temp chains to parent to the tip of the feet controls. So now the leg is being controlled from the toes, also with an inverse setup and without being connected to the root, which will make it easier for me to control his contact. I remove keyframes on the z-axis to keep the toe controls on the ground, and then on the y-axis to delay them. I give some delay also on the spine. I can also use the world space in betweener for delaying the legs. This is what I would use if the legs were still connected to the root. The animation was baked, retimed a bit more, and I switched back to the standard rig setup. Now I'm refining the rest of the poses using just animation layers. I fix the hands, moving the torso weight back so that he doesn't fall over. Giving some delay on the head. I refine the curve of the torso control a bit to have less feeling of anticipation. With control and mouse click I can remove keyframes from the curve and use the handles. I refine the hands further with editable motion trails.
The hands feel very stiff because they don't have any fingers. So to make them more loose, for the forearms and hands I can give a new world space control with back location tail. This will add controls to the tail of the original bones and apply track constraints to them. So it will influence only the rotation in world space. I offset a bit the keyframes to give some delay to the hands. The forearm is normally rotating on one axis, in this case the Z axis. So I could also apply this to the controls. I add the world space controls, change to tail, and open the filter attributes. I will filter from the rotation the X and the Y. This filter will influence the constraint that attaches the original bones to the temporary rig. And again the world space controls to the hands but without the filter. You can notice how the forearm now is rotating only on its Z axis. When using the offset tool there might be some gimbal lock on the hand control. In this case it doesn't matter too much since it doesn't influence the bone on the original rig. But I could also filter the rotations from the filter tools. The filter tool can be used for all the tools in the anim tools section. The filter tool button will show which attributes are currently being filtered. There is also a new option to filter selected keyframes. I continue with offsetting the hands, removing keyframes and giving more offset in the beginning during the idle motion. I'm refining the torso curve a bit more. Because the legs are currently using IK, I could use copy relative matrix to keep the poses and distance from the legs. I want to bake the whole thing, so I select to bake all control rigs. The hands animation is broken. If I select the bones, I can see that it's missing keyframes. The bake range is using the keyframes range from the original bones keyframes. So what I can do is undo and then adding keyframes to the original bones in the end of the clip. In the bake settings, I can choose to use the keyframes range from the controls and not just from the original bones. For this kind of mock-up, with keyframes everywhere, I recommend to uncheck the smart bake. It will be eventually more clean and precise. 